Daughters of the American Revolution was founded in 1890, and their national headquarters is located a few blocks from the White House in Washington, D.C. Next on American History TV's American Artifacts, a visit to the DAR Museum to learn about their 125th anniversary exhibit, Remembering the American Revolution, 1776 to 1890. In this second of a two-part program, we begin with the 1824 visit to America by Revolutionary War hero General Lafayette. The Marquis de Lafayette was 19 years old when he came to America to fight in the revolution. Um, he was a, a French aristocrat. And I think when I talk to students about this, when I say he was 19, and we think about 19-year-olds today, and you know, what were you like when you were 19? Were you going to fight in a revolution across the sea? Probably not. Um, so he was an interesting individual, of course. Um, his support and his influence with the French government helped uh, the revolutionary, revolution's cause. So he, when he came back in the 1820s, and he was invited back by President Monroe um, for the purpose of remembering their revolution. Monroe saw that, you know, of course, people start, are starting to die off. The revolutionaries are starting to leave us. Um, but Lafayette was still a living connection to the revolution. So he came back in 1824 and did this amazing, I think, an amazing tour of what was then the United States in an era when there wasn't trains. Of course, there weren't uh, automobiles. So this is, this is um, horses and carriages that he crisscrossed the then United States and the fact that he hit so many places, both from New York City down to Charleston and everywhere in between, is I think is remarkable in such a short time period. Um, so when he comes to the, Amer to the United States, this is a, a, another reason for celebration. And again, people, these are spontaneous um, outpourings of interest and of, um, uh, admiration for for the for the Revolutionary War veteran, and uh, we were discussing when we were developing this exhibition. You know, was this was this in, an instruction? Did people get um, instructions on Lafayette is coming? You need to do this. You need to have a parade, or you need to have a ball, or you need to. There there wasn't that. You know, the, the government, the president didn't send out letters to the governor saying, well, you need to do something. Um, the word was sent out and it was encouraged, of course, but this outpouring of, of feeling and sentiment and of people coming and wanting to see Lafayette um, was very much um, uh, an unplanned, a spontaneous kind of celebration. Um, one of the, my favorite items relating to Lafayette and his visit here in the United States are these slippers. And um, these slippers were worn to a ball that was held in um, New York City. And uh, they were, they're very, very uh, fragile. You can even um, see that from the, the picture. I think they're linen and silk and uh, with a leather sole. So um, probably worn just to the ball to dance in and, um, and nothing else and put away and save. We know who wore these slippers. Her name was Angelica James. And uh, so that's another wonderful connection that we have the identification that goes along. It's not just the, the story, but that uh, Miss James um, is connected to these slippers. You can view all American history programs online at cspan.org slash history.